morning everyone and welcome to Honeybee Farmstead. I'm about to go out and milk Deirdre and show you the process. So come along and enjoy it with me. This bucket has got warm natural soapy water. I use a product called On Guard and it's a um, normally like a multi-purpose wash. Step out, step out, step out. Good girl. So we make sure the udder's really, really clean. Because um, once we put the cups on there, we're capturing the milk. And we want it to be nice and disinfected. This is Miss Deirdre, or we call her Dee Dee. And um, I've been milking her for probably three months now. So we're quite used to each other. She does still sometimes actually act like a diva. It's a bit of noise now, but the milking machine. She's really used to it. Shut the cups on like that. Wait till it's got suction. Once it's got suction, we can let go of it. And then the milk comes through this one here. This is the air one that's joined to the motor. So I'll hang it up like that. Good girl. Good girl. And Dee is eating a mix of um, loosened chaff, steam cut chaff, and um, there's a grain mix that I bought that's got been soaking overnight in molasses, molasses and water. Okay, so you can see, I don't know whether you can see, there's milk coming up the tube and eventually you'll hear it coming into this canister. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So this is our morning routine every morning once I've dropped the kids at school. Um, I used to do it a lot earlier but um, because we locked the calves away later at night uh, we weren't getting as much milk so we lock them away so that there's 12 hours that they're away from their mum. Um, they've got calf grower pellets that they eat at night and fresh water. I mentioned in that another video. Yeah. Break the suction and move to the front teats. Once that's on, we um, let go of that. And then what I like to do is just put a little bit of all natural moisturizer. And that does a couple of things. It keeps her teats nice and supple. It also is non-toxic, so you can eat the stuff. Not harmful to her babies when they come to eat. It also stimulates the back teeth so it pretty much yeah mimics what the calves would be doing if they were sucking step out step out good girl good girl good girl sure if you can hear that but that's the milk going into the canister 
Once I turn the motor off, it goes a little bit slower. Good girl. Good girl. Now, every cow's different, so I switch from back to front a bit because I've noticed that that's what the babies do. Um, as well as you see me jolting her udder like that, they're a lot um, more full on when they do it. I'll show you when I get the little boy out. So I've had advice from the people that, the lady that I bought Deirdre, and that was because she's got a heifer calf and a little steer calf to always let the steer calf eat first um, in the morning when I let them out because um, with milking cows if if you let them build up too much fat on their bodies if they don't you know like they get too chubby or whatever they store their fat in their udder and it stays like that so you can never remove the fat from their udder, which means if there's fat in there, it's less room for the udder to hold milk. So you'll get less milk. So we're trying to give her the best start possible by making sure that we don't allow her to get fat in her udder. And when they first eat in the morning, there's quite a lot of cream in the milk because she's held it overnight. And I don't fully strip her out, she holds back. Um, you'll see that soon. You'll see now the flow has really started to, to slow right down. It's actually becoming difficult to milk anything out. So what I do now at this point is I take the cups off and I use my finger to break the seal so I'm not hurting her udder or her teats. The most important thing is to keep her teats really nice and supple and soft so i'll go and let the calf out and i'll show you how we do that good girl Dee. Move over, love. Move over. Good girl. So we let him have a supple. And you'll see we hit her a few times, loosen everything up. And then we pull him off and he waits. And we obviously 
have to re-wash the teats now because his saliva's been on it. We need to make sure that we always keep it nice and clean. Step out. Step out. Good girl. Step out. Step out. Good girl. Good girl. Stand up. Good girl. Look at that gorgeous cow eating her breakfast, nice and calmly standing there while we milk. That wasn't always the case. When we first got her, she had never been milked before because she was what we call a first time freshener. She's two and had only just had her first baby, so she'd never been milked or had humans touching her in that way. And it was not a very good experience for her. Um, we had to work on trust and I had to earn her trust. and. She's had to earn mine because of those pointy things on the front of her head. She liked to try and scare me with them. We've worked through all our issues and now this is such a beautiful experience. I really enjoy coming out every morning and grooming her and getting milk for my family and also playing with the babies is great fun too. This, this setup here is one that my husband set up quickly because as I like to do. I found a cow after looking for years and just could not wait. So I got her, I jumped the gun a bit and got her a bit early. So he, he always supports my little whims and he built me this beautiful area. Um, we're working on a new design because I wanted a bit more streamlined and a bit easier to use, but it serves its purpose at the moment. And everyone's happy. She feels safe and secure. We make sure we keep her safe and secure. And we maintain that beautiful relationship. Once we finish milking we let the calves out to feed off their mum and she will release another lot of milk that she's held off for them. However, just today we've decided that we're not going to do that anymore. Um, we're going to give her another sort of hour by herself after she's been milked with the calves locked up to build up her milk again. As we've noticed the little boy is a little bit more aggressive and he's starting to put little sores on her teats where his teeth are rubbing so yeah we, we're just going to change that from now on but yeah we're all learning and so this is something new that we've learned Then we take all this gold down to the compost heap or just sprinkle around the fruit trees. I only ever put it around established fruit trees so that there's no burning and I don't put it right up to the, the trunk of the tree because it can be 
can get hot and you don't want to damage your tree. So I'm going to keep cleaning up the poop in here and using it for my garden. Hope you enjoyed this video. Look at these two. Pushing each other around, fighting for their breakfast. So while they're doing that, because this is our next milking calf, so we make sure she gets really used to us touching her everywhere and she doesn't kick her. Um, and don't forget to let Mama off. Okay, I'm going to clean up. There we go. Good girl. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear all your comments and suggestions. Look at that excited baby. Finally we let all the cows out, give them a fresh bale of oat and hay uh, because it's the end of summer and we haven't got a lot of green on the ground at the moment so we make sure that they get a heap of this. They get super excited every time they open a fresh bale, hence the jumping around. What a cool sight to come out to every morning. I love farmsteading. edited over this part because I had some pretty full-on distractions going on in the background there and I decided to show you the best part this is the part that you've been working for this is where you bring your beautiful creamy fresh Jersey milk inside and even though we've done it in a closed system I always like to filter it to make sure we've definitely got nothing in there other than milk and cream oh there's that distraction I was talking about and we run it through the cloth and collect it. These are two litre glass flagons that I've bought locally um, from a vineyard. I've got a good friend there. So you could source them that way as well maybe. But yeah, we take it off, we filter it and then we put it straight in the back of the fridge where it's nice and cool and can get cold pretty well straight away. Uh, always making sure we rotate the milk because we drink it raw. We want to make sure we're using it as quick as possible. Um, we're not yet making cheese and yogurt and butter and all the things that you can make, but we will be soon. So keep your eye out for a, another video in the future. Pure, fresh, creamy Jersey milk. There is nothing better. There is no other milk that's better, I should say. Um, then knowing that you, you looked after the cow, you milked the cow, it happened on your property, you fed the cow, you know everything that went into this. So it's just over three litres. Um, perfection. I've got loads of it. So we're going to be making um, cheeses and things like that, butter, uh, especially this stuff's really super creamy. We've changed her food a little, so she's producing a lot of cream at the moment. Um, yeah, you should get yourself some raw Jersey milk. It's beautiful. All right, thank you for joining me on Honeybee Farmstead and I hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy better things in life. See ya.